Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video on how to descale the Tommy Tippy prep machine. There is a descaling light on the machine which will tell you when the machine is ready to be descaled. We're just gonna pretend like the lights come on <laughs> and as you can see, this light here is the warning light. It's a triangle with an exclamation mark in it and it says calc, so that's a build up of lime scale in the machine. So to start with, we are going to empty the tank of the machine. I'm going to come round to the side of the machine and I'm going to press the first button the teardrop button because that is to clean or empty the machine with so once I press that you can hear that it's starting to make quite a noise and the water is starting to drip out into the jug as it starts to get towards the end it does start to make an even louder noise but it's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with your machine it's very normal for it to make this sound and then you should hear the two beeps and that means the tank is empty so you can see here in the window that there is no water remaining in the machine and the empty tank light has come on. So I'm just gonna get rid of the water in the jug and then I'm going to grab a plate. So in the hopper is the filter. I'm going to pop that on the plate and put it to one side. Well, now we're going to start the descaling process. I've got this Sarsen's distilled malt vinegar. Any white vinegar would do for this. I'm going to take the top off and pour the whole bottle into the machine and as you can see it's starting to fill up and it's not completely full to the top but that's okay it's because we want it to clean the pipes not necessarily the tank i'm going to pop my jug underneath the machine again and then i'm going to come round to the side of the machine but this time i'm going to press the triangle button that matches the triangle at the front of the machine where the light would be on if your machine is telling you it needs to be descaled and then as you can see the light starts to flash which means Means the descaling process is in action and you can hear the machine it's making a funny noise it's starting to release some of that vinegar and this is a much slower process it's not a continuous flow it's a stop start flow and it did take about 15 minutes for that amount of vinegar to get all the way through so it is quite a process and then it was a bit more continuous just like it was when we emptied the tank when the 15 minutes were up it did start to make that funny noise again and then I heard the two beeps which meant that it was finished descaling. And now if we look at the lights on the machine we can see that the empty tank warning light has come on and also the light to suggest that the machine needs cleaning is flashing. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put our kettle on. I'm just filling it up here with water. So we're going to wait for that kettle to boil. And then once it's boiled, we're gonna clean that vinegar out of the pipes. You should only use hot water in the machine when you are cleaning it. You should never ever put hot water in the machine otherwise. As I'm filling it up with the hot water, you can see at the front through the window that the tank is filling up. And you'll notice now that the empty tank warning light has turned off, but instead we've got a new light that's come up and that is a temperature light to say that there is hot water in the tank. I'm going to place a jug underneath to catch all the hot water that is going to release and then I'm going to come round to the side and choose the clean or empty tank button and that's going to start the process again of emptying that tank of the hot water. Now the jug that I have to catch all of the water is only a one litre so we do have to stop the process when the jug gets full so we can empty it and then we'll have to restart the process. So to stop the process I'm just going to press the big on off button at the top of the machine and that will stop the flow of the water. I'm going to quickly empty the water from the jug and once I place the jug underneath I'm going to come back round to the side and press the same button. And you can see again that the empty tank warning light has come on, the cleaning light is no longer on and the hot water light is still showing. But I'm just going to empty the water from the jug and then we are going to do the step with the boiling water again. So we do the boiling water twice and that just makes sure that everything is completely clean and all the pipes are free of the white vinegar and any build up of limescale that may still be remaining in the pipes. 
So that is pretty much it. Now all we have to do is put our machine back together. So before I do, what I want to do is clean the hopper, the tray and the lid of the machine. So I'm going to take those to the sink and just give them a wash with some washing up liquid. I don't use anything fancy, just what we normally use for our dishes. I'm going to give those a quick wash and then I'm going to put the machine back together. So I've got the hopper here and I'm going to pop the filter back into the hopper. Make sure to give it a push so that it is nice and secure. Pop that in the tank and then I'm going to fill the tank up with cold water and as you see it filling up you'll see the empty warning light turn off and also the hot temperature light. Now that the tank has cooled down I'm going to pop the tray back on and then I'm going to put a jug on as well so that we can do our test cycle. So for the test cycle, all we need to do is press the on off button at the top of the machine and a red light will come on. The machine will start making a noise and dispense some water. This water is normally meant to be hot when you're making your bottles, but as it's a test cycle, it will come out cold. And then once it beeps, we're going to press the button again and then the light will turn green and release more water. And this will be what your cold shot would be to then make it the correct temperature. And then just to prove that there is nothing wrong with your machine, I'm going to do that again. And this time you can hear the machine is starting to steam up and the water that is going to be dispensed under the red light is going to be hot. So once that releases, we're going to press the button again and it's going to be a green light and then that will make the temperature of the milk a safe temperature for baby to drink. So you can see my machine is working absolutely fine. Putting hot water in the machine hasn't hurt the machine at all and we can go on to make some formula safely. Just to finish off, I'm going to give the machine a quick rub down with some antibacterial wipes just to make sure that the outside of the machine is nice and clean as well. And then that is it. You are ready to make some more bottles safely for your baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already as it does really help my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.